All right, so as I've been doing kind of more recently, I've been trying to give updates on things I've changed in between episodes. I did one thing I recommended. I added hashtag pound symbol uh, show tooltip to my macros down here for immolate and create soul wall. So now they actually show what they do. That's cool. So thanks for the tips. I also finally got a vendor add-on here, um, which I actually already used and cleaned up my bags, but it pretty much automatically will sell junk. So that's pretty handy. I've been meaning to do that for a long time. It'll also auto repair. When I speak to a repair vendor, you repair your armor for 70, so that's, that's cool. Uh, it saves me a little bit of trouble. Now for today's episode, uh, first of all, let me my stopwatch a little bit. This will move anything is still bugging out on me. Basically, my I need to probably like delete my folder completely and reinstall it. These bag icons and this minibar icon shows up down here. No matter what I do, I can't move them at all. Um, I can move like the icons, but like the frame stays. I can't get the frame to hide even if I check that option. So that's stuck temporarily. I'll fix that later. Uh, but I want to queue up for. So why can't I do dungeons still? In the raid finder. Uh, I wonder if I need to complete something else? I don't know. I, I'm really excited to do more of the open world stuff anyway, but I don't quite understand that still. So that's interesting. Uh, we recently had... I'm going to go mark some trees. We recently had a problem where if you logged in and zoned into different zones, you would lose all your quests, um, which is terrifying. So I didn't play for a couple days because... I was a little busy anyway, but they they apparently rolled back the hotfix that caused that problem, and then uh, people were still having the problem anyway. Um, so I don't know exactly what caused it, or I really don't know much about it all. But I just know that I was not logged in for about a day and a half. About a day and a half, I just didn't log in because I was terrified. Um, since the last episode, they've also nerfed experience needed to level up by about 10 to 15 percent i think from level 60 to uh 60 to 100 and they've also recently nerfed um in a previous episode i've already talked about this they nerfed damage dealt by mobs and damage it takes the damage we deal to mobs or mob health i guess and it's pretty visible right now i mean these mobs are getting wrecked i mean seriously like they're dying real quickly um what am I attacking here? Oh, I see. Ready to work. Okay, cool. So we're uh, apparently marking stuff, and that seems to be working pretty well. Lunar Fall Matriarch. I want to go kill this thing. It's a huge mob. Um, let's mark this, and then kill the big guy. Quake Fist. What if that guy drops a quest for us? Or if it's a something else to get. He has a quest marker on him. Maybe it's like for a quest and I just haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, there's a lot of little mobs down here. It's kind of terrifying. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't really need to kill this one specifically. I decided it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and kill it. So I chose the big guy to kill. Uh, so anyway, we're going to work on leveling as we're currently destruction spec. I plan to stay as destruction through level 84, and then at level 85, this one has a ton of health by the way, at level 85 I'm going to switch to demonology because people have been really recommending it, and it sounds fun to me. Uh, I've been convinced that it's fun to try, so we're going to give it a try, but I want to go a few more levels as demonology, mostly because, or not demonology, destruction, mostly because, I wonder if I can get, there we go. Do it like this. Mostly because I want to get a sense of how the leveling changes have impacted things. And um, that's something I don't use often is fear. Uh, how the leveling changes have impacted leveling. And it's going to be hard to assess that if I switch specs, right? So, like, I need to. Um, I need to stays this spec for a little while because I can compare things a bit easier. It sounds weird, but it's kind of like doing a little experiment here. Like I want to 
I want to study, I guess, study how the hot fixes and leveling changes have changed things, right? But I can't do that very well if I change another variable, which is my spec. So I'm going to keep my spec the same for a few levels, see how things feel, and then I'll try demonology because it does sound like a lot of fun. So at 85 or so, I will switch over to demonology, and we will command an army and have some fun. These things are still aggroed on us, man. I'm still not used to the uh, aggro range, the leash range on these mobs, or mobs in general in Legion, I should say. Okay, all dead. Uh, perfect. Not only will this lumber do the job, it will look fantastic. This place is full of surprises, terrifying surprises. I know I'll sleep a lot better without those giant killer birds flying around. As a giant killer bird walks away. We must unite. I'm getting reports of a giant in the forest. There's Quick Fist, okay. A few of the Cowboy peacekeepers have followed it to a cave. In all honesty, I don't think any of our troops are willing to engage the beast. Maybe we you could investigate? Yeah, sure. Can you do this? Uh, some people are recommending that I obtain flying in, in the zone and then do treasure quests but to level quickly, but I have not really any interest in leveling that quickly, to be honest. I probably could uh, level up fast enough if I did that to now they've made some nerfs to leveling. Um, so that I would... Why did it just leash on us? Like seriously. What was that about? Um, let's try this again. Uh, anyway. Holy crap. Apparently I have to be in the cave. There's only so many times I want to deal with a leashing mob, you know? It must be really like, this is the entrance and it's we need to fight it in the cave. It's apparently got to be it, because otherwise I have no idea what's going on. I know the quest even mentioned it being in a cave. But I was like, well, I mean, if it's outside the cave, I can still attack it, right? Like, I guess I should be able to, but apparently it doesn't like being outside of its cave. Still have that stupid lunar raven, there we go. You know, so I need to kill that thing, it's still whacking uh, grim thick back there. So, anyway, uh, with the leveling changes they've done last week or so with hotfixes, I think it's perfectly possible that I could hit 120 before we, uh, BFA launches, but I'm still not really in a huge hurry for that. You know what, hold on a sec. Uh, let's make a health stone, or health stones. I'm really not in a huge hurry to do that. I have plenty of things I'm enjoying playing right now with WoW. Um, I've got my vanilla tune, obviously. I've got this tune, my rogue. I've been playing um, a little bit more my high-level rogue. And I've also been using my recovered rogue to work towards the Hand of a Doll. Um, Hand of a Doll title, because I happen to have the old quest for it. Uh, the base is significantly more secure with that giant dead. You have made quite an impression on the peacekeepers. The giant defeated, we shouldn't have any more trouble clearing out the area. Just say the Good. Word, Commander. I'm impressed with how quickly you've pulled this group together, Commander. I think it's time we start putting up some walls and establishing a firm perimeter around our base. We'll get it done. Um. Have you seen Brightstone? My latest assistant is more than a handful. She does everything to the extreme. Drinking, talking, rushing from one task to another. She is a fine architect, though, and probably the brightest student I've ever had. I'll give her that. Uh, apparently that means we're building. Actions, you have earned the respect of my people. They have granted you this foothold, confident that you will lead the Alliance to victory. Commander. Commander Superlock. Cool. Discovered Superlock's outpost. That's cool. I bet people were really psyched when this happened. Like when they... First, I'm gonna grab this quest and go in and check it out. The first time they uh, were like, oh, I've got a garrison now, and then by the end of World's Drainer, they were like, oh, I've got a garrison. Um, Commander, oh, Commander, uh, Rel and Marad have a tactical suggestion. They recommend a small expedition group be sent to the savage wastelands of Gor Gor Gorgrand, far to the north. Reports from their Rangari suggest that land may hold ancient secrets of or primal knowledge that we might use to exploit weaknesses in the Iron Horde that our enemy would not expect. 
If you wish to go, I will have a griffin prepared for you at once. Maybe. I was suggested to do Shadow Moon Valley. Nagrand. Nagrand. And I don't remember the other one, but those are the two I definitely remember people recommending I try. I gotta put on my timer, didn't I? Oh well. Uh, let's grab our flight point, first of all. And let's go turn in our quest here. Who is this? The architect, Hello, right? Commander. Return your garrison, 20 minute cooldown, cool. That's convenient. So, nice, cool. Keeping it together, so much work to do, I don't even know where to start. Speak with Shelly, find Assistant Brightstone, and check the garrison cache. Making sure this garrison is operational is not an easy task. Hold on a sec. On it. I st feel like they really did. Like my music's been so loud recently. My men are standing ready. I get like blaringly loud, but then like sometimes I feel like it's really quiet. I don't know. So let me uh, one last thing. I've got you know maxed out dialogue, ambiance. I should turn that up a little bit and sound overall, right? Just just overall sound. Or wait, sound effect volume. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like the music in the last like week or so. I, I noticed some episodes when I'm editing them. It just I feel like it's like blaring, like I can't hear a voice over it, and Orders, Commander. they can turn it down a bit. Okay, keeping it together. So much work to do, yep, yep, yep. Making this curious, yep, yep. Shelly still hasn't reported back to me. My assistant, Brightstone, and her crew are who knows where. Shelly still hasn't reported back to me. My assistant, Brightstone, and her crew are who knows where. Ugh. That's kind of a weirdly phrased sentence. I'm so caught up. I haven't even had time to check our cash for resources. If I were a mage, do you think I could use mirror Im images to do all this at once? Good question. Commander, when we are running low on supplies. Maybe we can salvage materials from that ship you arrived on. At the rate folks are coming through the portal, we are going to be out of everything by sundown or moon down. So getting used to this place. Okay, so we're going to do some restocking of our garrison. So How am I supposed to do this all myself? Keep it together, Barros. Keep it together. There's a lot of uh quests here. Like seriously. Alright. The Archimage has uncovered a potential Shadow Council presence in the valley. He asked me to let you know. Oh whoops. Uh I didn't mean to click through that, but that's okay. Right, so that's what I think I actually want to do. Um So I kind of, I don't know if I'm like skipping out a lot of stuff I should be doing here, but I think if it takes me to Shadow Moon Valley, that sounds kind of cool. That's what I, I've been recommended to tr check out. Uh, so I kind of want to just go see what's going on there. So let's go find Lunarfall, Shadow Moon, oh, so we're in Shadow Moon Valley, okay. Right, I knew that, we're in like the northern part of the zone. Oh, where'd that tree come from? That was a short draw distance. But I want to go see... I think this guy will lead us to a lot of, like, a large series of quests in Shadow Moon. So I kind of want to check those out first. Uh, and then go from here. So let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm over-emphasizing this. Is power. Uh, hello again, Superlock. You're just in time. We've tracked the Shadow Council to a nearby village. I suspect that Gul'dan is with Your them. Guard. Okay. Hmm. Uh, is that really it? I don't understand. So what are these world quests, basically? Hold on, I want to go check that out. What is, what's that about? I'm going to go back to the town, obviously, in a minute. Or to my, to my garrison, not the town. I want to see what this is about. It's like a world PvP quest. Someone was making fun of my rogue. My, um... The rogue that I recovered from my old account. Because it only had like four... Not really making fun of it, kind of joking and laughing at it. I had 400 gold on that tune. That's like all I had. And... 
that was you know like level 70 it's like that's what i had was 400 gold so how do i do this quest bloodthorn cave maybe i need to go into the cave Ooh, someone else is here cool all right here we go there's a quest uh i guess i could have pulled this a little bit better but whatever well, that died easy all right what's this about uh, find Eric, Diane, and Zulo in Bloodthorn Cave. Stranger, please help me. My companions and I ventured here to seek the bounty on a monstrous wasp queen. After we set up camp down the hill, we fell asleep. We were attacked in the middle of the night by these horrid, pale things. I don't know where my friends have gone, but I heard screams from further down the cavern. Please find my companions. I can't leave here without them. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna go... Collect some things and kill some things and save some people and apparently we're gonna get a boatload of experience from it so we'll see how that works out what do i get for completing that filling that thing up i don't think that has to do with the quest wow these mobs are getting destroyed by i guess to be fair this is a because i spec into focused chaos I have a, like a super chaos bolt now, so it's a little bit different. Gorum. I wonder if Gorum is a playoff of Golem. It looks kind of like Golem from uh, The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. I don't remember the order of what came out first, but I I read um, Lord. I read The Hobbit when I was in like I was like seven years old. I read The Hobbit maybe eight years old. Um, and then I read The Lord of the Rings years later, like I was probably like 13 before I read The Lord of the Rings. For some reason I read The Hobbit as a kid. Um, my dad thought it'd be a book that I'd enjoy and I did. It's a good book. I liked it. It's been a long time. I don't remember it that well, unfortunately. Do I get like a bunch of these from, like a whole bunch of juice? Oh, I see. The juice is really all I need for, for this quest. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um, let's just run up here and do this. That'll work. Yeah, these look exactly like Golem from Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Um, whichever one we want to say. I don't, I really have no idea which one came first, but I think, I think, I think The Hobbit came first. I don't really know if it's true. I should know that, but I'm really not sure. I was going to say, I don't think I can get up here. Alright, we've killed enough pale creatures, or soon we'll have killed enough, but it seems like I'm limited more on these these little uh, mushrooms, really. There's one of them. Easy save. Let's get our juice, and then I guess, I don't know, how do we, where could we go from here? I think I need to go back around, I don't think I should be down here. I think this is uh, how I'm probably going to be stuck in combat now. And I don't think I can go up around the back here. I think I need to go this way up and to the right. Yeah, so I don't... I, um, I'm um, i wondering if people like Warlords of Draenor requesting because it's fast? Or if it's the, if they think it's um really good? Like, I've heard both, kind of. It depends who you speak to. Uh, who do I want? I'm thinking about, oh, I haven't summoned this in a while. Nether Space Abysmal. That's a big pet. Like, it's like physically kind of large, you know? Um, let's grab some herbs, get a little bit of easy experience. Oh, what's that? What, what does that do? A Compendium of Herbs of Draenor. Okay. Does that, like, increase my harvesting from, from these? Okay, interesting. And why was that buried in an herb? Like, someone left their herb harvesting guide next to an herb? That seems strange. Oh, that's another thing. People are making fun of me for saying herb with a silent H. Um, I think it's, like, regional, but I've always heard it pronounced with a silent H. It's herb, not a herb. In fact, I remember, like, when I was younger, people getting made fun of around me for calling it 
a herb because they didn't know that it was a silent H. Like, not like, I guess we were nerds and we made fun of people for stupid things, but, um, like when I was a kid, but yeah, I've always heard it as a silent H. So it's an herb, not a herb. Herb is the name of a person. Herb is something like you harvest in WoW, whatever. I don't know. Um, something you use to season food is an herb. Huh. Okay. Let's get the mining one. We freed two of our three uh, NPCs for a matter of life and death. So we'll go and grab the last person around the corner here. As well as, we need nine more juices or only, oh there we got two for that one, that's good. But we need a few more, but we're also going to kill the named mob over here if we can. Um, Gorum, I guess. I don't know how useful it is to kill him, but let's try. Well, I guess we could have walked up here. I should have around, ran, walked around and tried, but oh well. No harm done. Let's whack him with the staff. Oh, even aggro this guy, fun. Um, okay. I did see that there was, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, someone recommended recently, quest complete by the way, that I look up the bottoms up cinematic. It's a very short, like a minute long cinematic. And it's, I did watch it. Uh, it was, it was really cute. It reminded me of like a Pixar short film type of thing. It was basically like the human warrior and the orc warrior. I call them warriors. I don't know, human and orc in the Pandaria cinematic in which uh, like the, the intro to Pandaria, Mr. Pandaria cinematic. Those two go to a bar afterwards and just like, they just kind of joke about the, uh, the panda. Oh, the Infernal is doing some cool stuff. That's an awesome pet. Uh, let's see this. Anyway, so it was, uh, Bottoms Up was a fun little cinematic. I, uh, enjoyed just kind of watching it real quick one day. Um, actually I think two days ago I watched it, but it was cute. What's this guy doing? Leech Vitality. Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, so that was fun. I didn't, I didn't, shouldn't have watched it on camera, but sometimes I like watching cinematics off camera. Um, I saw there was another one that came out last night. Today is August 3rd. It's like 4.50 in the morning right now. Um, one came out apparently like overnight or last night. So I think it aired at like a Chinese film festival or something. Um, oh, what did we get? Let's take a look at that in a moment. Let's get hopefully our last couple of juicy mushrooms. Maybe this will be it. Perfect. 76,000 experience, 60 gold, 500 rep with the Council of Exarchs. It's a lot of reputation, or a lot of experience. It's a boatload of experience. Um, I'll just go back the way we came to turn in the quest. It might be faster actually to jump down and go around, but I'm perfectly happy with this. Let's fear that. I can't believe how little I've used fear in this tune. I constantly think to myself, well, not constantly, obviously I don't think about it much, when it comes to mind that I haven't used fear, I'm always like, holy crap, I haven't used fear in a long time. And it's such a, like, when I think of Warlocks, fear is a big thing to me. And I just, it just doesn't cross my mind much to use it, I guess. Let's go to goblin mode. There we go. All right, let's turn in our other quest over here. This thing got feared directly into us. My prayers have been answered, hero. I will tell everyone back at the village of your deeds. How long does fear last? Wow. 20 seconds. Huh. I don't know if I realized how long it lasted. I thought it was shorter than that. Maybe historically it was like 8 seconds, or maybe it was changed somewhat recently. But I think it was 8. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was longer. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, Psychic Scream for Priests, which would have been about 8 seconds. Oh, excuse me. Okay, cool. Well, that was productive. Um, we have no quest out here, so let's use our hearth. So what did we get? I didn't get a chance to finish reading the quest, or the uh, item. Um, 
press the thorns into your flesh, bleeding into the shadows for 10 seconds at the cost of 10% maximum health. I want to try it. I don't actually understand what it does. I think it makes me stealth or something? Is that... I don't know. Let's grab some more quests. Okay. Uh, we are getting strange reports of an orc attack on a nearby Adranai settlement called Eventide Landing. I'm hearing these particular orcs are unlike any we have encountered before. They seem sickly and are pale in color. The locals could use our help, Commander. This seems like the perfect opportunity to test our garrison's capabilities. Be careful, Commander. If these pale orcs are real, who knows what powers they possess. Okay. Well met. We have one flight point to Wildwood Wash. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and Welcome. vendor and repair. Uh, Long life, my I need to talk to some people, don't I? Oh yeah, so I wanted to try out this. So wow, that actually seems like the kind of thing I want to get. Five minute cooldown, huh? That seems like the kind of thing I want to keep around forever, right? Like. You, you would always want to have this um, on every tune that isn't a rogue, pretty, or a druid, I guess, right? Um, I'm not sure how useful that is, but it, that seems like the kind of thing that has a unique quality that regardless of the stats, you would have some use for. Burrus is looking for me. I've been right here with my crew the whole time. Poor guy is so busy, he's losing it. Alright, break time is over. Back to work. Alright. Check the garrison cache. What's going on over here? 51 resources, okay. Garrison resources, interesting. And we need to gather Shelly's report to mount back up. Maybe there's not that many quests here. I thought there were a bunch. So, as a side note, if anyone knows why I can't get into Group Finder, you know, at all, um,. I'd be interested in hearing why. I am not sure I understand what the limitation is yet. Um, I'm certainly high enough level, right? I'm level 92. So, I don't know. Okay. Shelly Hambly, where did Pippers go? Little guys keep stealing my supplies. Oops, I meant to check in with Barrows. We have been... We have just been really busy. Uh, this forest is almost out of wood. I need to get a logging operation together. I'll send a full report to Barrows as soon as possible. Safe travels. Okay. That's reasonable. Uh, do we have any other quests here? We don't. Okay, we need to find some more quests to do. Where's Barrows? There he is. Alright. Keeping it together. Can we speak a little later, sir? I don't really have time to talk at the moment. You did what? You're a lifesaver, Commander. With those tasks out of the way, my job will be much easier. Okay, well. I feel so relieved. Maybe I can actually do some stargazing tonight. That would be a nice change of pace. I mean, it seems like what I should be doing is this quest. Wildwood Wash and Glove. Okay. Um, Greetings. Go with honor. Guess we'll be doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up the video for this flight, and we'll be back in thirty seconds. Okay, so, uh, where's my pen? So we've arrived in Wildwood Wash, and, um, all right, let's see what we got going on here. Wildwood Many Wash. of deadly land yet stand between us and the Black Rock. Is 
that seemed very uncalled for and random. <laughs> you just, the you know. Us. Okay, welcome to Gorgrand, Commander. We only just arrived ourselves. It's one of the most untamed landscapes in all of Draenor. Only the most skilled of Rangari venture this deep into the wild. It is their camp we are heading for. If you wish to travel ahead, it can be found down this path and to the right. Arad and I shall follow after you momentarily. We will still have some logistics to work out before we leave the landing. We may. We should have brought an army to fight the Iron Hole. Gorgrand is no place for armies. This land swallows all who enter. We will be fortunate to even lay eyes upon the Iron Horde base. Okay. That's good to know. I need to set my hearthstone somewhere more convenient. What are these guys? Whoa. What are these guys? That's a big dude. Uh. <laughs> this is like some Jurassic Park type of uh, scary, terrifying stuff. <laughs> Find the survivors, okay? Let's see what we get over here. They're probably in the cave, I guess. What do we have here? A hero? Gorgrand is no place for heroes, my friend. Greetings. You have chosen a very unfortunate time to visit our camp, my friend. Slay Harvester Amru. Okay, this is what happens when one, when one stands in the path of a Genesar, and where Genesar walks, the Batani follow. I saw one entering our shelter cave along the northern side of the camp. It is commanding the podlings to gather the corpses of our fallen brethren and must be stopped. I must tend to our wounded and gather supplies for our departure. If you're serious about being here, venture into the cave and slay this down. Botani. Never underestimate okay, the slay nine wild overgrowth. Uh, one moment we see a great metal beast rolling into our camp. The next, a genosaur follows it and sends a wave of pure chaotic life at us. The manifestations left behind by the genosaur must be cold so we have time to salvage what we can before leaving. If you're here to help, then start killing as many of the violent plants that are assailing us as Beware possible. That have eyes. Okay, let's go find our named mob. <laughs> that seems to be more important, possibly. Wait, there's a quest over here? Is that up here or down somewhere else? Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. Let's clear this up. And then we'll go... Someone's... I guess I have to kill this thing. There we go. Who is this? Thalen Dark Anvil. I think we've met him before. Superlock, boy, am I glad to see ya. I was trying to ditch that Genesar when I stumbled across this Rangari camp. Next thing I know, the ground is creeping up and spitting out all sorts of angry plants. I barely made it out of me tank before the Genesar threw it like it was an empty beer mug. I'm going to make my way back to the road and look for my tank. I'll see you there when you're done. Okay, that was easy enough quest. Glad we saved, saved our buddy there. But now we're going to jump down in this terrifying hole in the ground and see how things go. Um, oh, I pre-ordered movie tickets uh, for the first time in my entire life. I've never pre-ordered a movie ticket before. Um, I always go to the theater and just get them there because that's usually fine. Um, I ordered tickets to a Fathom event. It's like a company, I think, that runs certain, like, kind of like limited... Oh, excuse me. Limited release... Uh, films or they reshow old films like cult classics those kind of things and these people happen to be showing our uh, fathom events happens to have a uh, the transformers the movie from 1986 it's an animated film um in theaters for one night september 27th and i mentioned this maybe i've talked about it a little bit but transformers the transformers is my all-time favorite franchise like of any genre of any video games movies music um, if I had to pick one franchise that I most enjoy, it's the Transformers. Now, to be clear, I really enjoy the, the G1. For those of you that like care about this stuff, I really enjoy Generation 1 Transformers. 
That's the 1980s um, cartoon. I really enjoyed that. Um, I also liked Beast Wars. I thought Beast Wars was really good. And I enjoyed the first of the Michael Bay Transformers films. Uh, maybe the second one a little bit. And I think I saw the third one. It was okay. But I never really saw the fourth one. And I wasn't like a huge fan of any of those. But they were fine. Uh, that's probably a wasted uh, AoE. I guess we're done killing these guys anyway. 666 experience. Terrifying. So anyway. Uh, but I really like the Transformers. Mainly because of the G1 Generation 1 cartoons from the 80s and Beast Wars. Those are my two things. I really liked. Um, Alright, we got three quests to turn in. Let's... What are you doing here? What is this? Giving away our position. The fool brought a genosaur down on us. Let's uh talk to Thalen first, then we'll deal with some of these other quests after that, but we should kill these guys at least, get them out of our way. Um, I don't even, I guess they must have, we, we brought them over maybe, or was that Thalen that brought them? Because they were just talking about Thalen bringing the genocide. Oh, perfect, I'll get this up and running in no time. Okay. Uh, a good start. The growth from a genocide is pure chaos and must be cold whenever possible. Is this an upgrade? It's a, a 1% upgrade. Watch the shadows. Um, oh, a rare upgrade, nice. That, that actually makes it a 5% upgrade, so now it's uh, a little more reasonable. That's a crazy looking shoulder, though. Huh, cool. Alright, I dread to think what the botani, the botany, botany, botani, 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 had intended to do with their corpses of our fallen. Uh, many of our Rengari have not been accounted for. It would seem the followers of Ayu, Iu, Ayu, have taken captives. Man, I'm yawning so much, I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, we will continue to search the area for survivors. In the meantime, follow the wild wash wood the wildwood wash west towards High Pass and look for any signs of our Rengari comrades. Our people are stout and capable survivors. You may find more than you expect. Have them stay near the road, and we will follow as soon as this dwarf creature has fixed the, his mechanical vessel. Oh, hey. Uh, find the missing mole machine. Few people know the Blackrock clan better than Dark Iron Dwarves. Seems sensible. So after Tannin, uh, Tanan, we sent a bunch of mole machines to Gor Gorgrond. Man, these words are killing me today. Uh, to build a listening post to keep an eye on them. My own mole machines got way off course, and I got separated. It didn't take long to figure out all the other mole machines got off course as well. According to the readings in my tank, in me tank, a mole machine surfaced somewhere way to the west of here. Mind scouting ahead while we get this tank operational? Sure, why not? Looks like this quest is a little bit closer. Let's go do this. Um, so, um... I'm not sure when I do the world objective, because I think those are like the treasure quests people are talking about, maybe? And I think I'll level too fast if I do those. Okay, we leveled up, which doesn't do anything for us. Okay, so... I woke up at 2 a.m. today. I went to bed at 9.30 p.m. I woke up at 2 a.m. I couldn't sleep. I, I laid in bed for half an hour, couldn't sleep, pulled up my phone at 2.30. I was reading a little bit. I usually have like a, I have one of those blue light filters on it. I don't know how much it helps, but just in case. And then about 3.30, an hour of reading, I gave up and got up. And so I was up. And then about, you know, I don't know, 4.30, I finally came over here and started playing WoW. Because like, well, I got nothing else to do. I did some more reading on a couch. I went up to the living room, laid on the couch, read some more. I was doing some work reading for a little bit. Finally gave up and came in here. I was like, well, time to play some WoW. Because... I think the bug that makes you lose quests has been fixed, so, you know, now I can play safely. It seems like it hasn't busted us yet, so we've been in good shape. Uh, okay. We have found Rangari Kalan. Welcome, welcome. Be well. Cool. Oh, good, they're all in order, so I think the mole machine is probably along the way. What is that? 
Lazy Maw River Beast. They look like a hippo crossed with a stegodon. I think is what I would say. All right, Rangari, Regis, Dakan is coming with help. Podlings hate fire. That's good to know. Seems reasonable. Plant things probably don't like being burned any more than non-plant things, but that's a scary. We don't want to touch that. What is this zone? Such a weird place. It really does give me a little bit of like a, like kind of like a Jurassic Park feeling for some reason. I don't know. It's a big, big, jungly, God, giant monsters that all make sense. We fought as well as we could, but in the end, too many of my friends were lost. Dakan is coming with help. So anyway, I mentioned the sleep thing to explain why I keep yawning, because I actually am tired. I just couldn't sleep, which is, that never happens. Like, 365 nights in a year, I probably don't sleep two or three nights a year because I stay up working. So the other 362 nights, let's say, that I am sleeping normally. Maybe one of those. I have trouble going back to sleep or falling asleep. It like I'd say one out of every two to three hundred nights I have trouble sleeping. It's pretty rare. Over here. A uh, warlock? Oh, are you a sight for sore eyes? Well you got my attention. Watch your back. I didn't even get a chance to click Thalen as on his way soon. I <laughs> Did he damage his machine again? I bet he did. Oh no, it looks okay. This is really I I am appreciating these uh this tank. The the tank. Oh I didn't realize that. The Rangari are stout survivalists. I knew it would not go down without a fight. Thank you, Superlock, for your help in this. You have done us a great honor and a modest upgrade to our hands. We will endure. Cool. And uh, well, that's one down and about a dozen others to go. We best get a base going. Sounds like we might be here a while. Commander, we've gathered enough materials to build an outpost that will support our mission against the Iron Horde. How shall we proceed? A lumberyard would be valuable for gathering resources in the dense overgrowth to the south and in confronting the plant monstrosities that defend it. On the other hand, a sparring arena would write us the brutal, the brutish forces we'd need to push through the Magnaron Wastelands to the north. When you're ready, make your choice. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's go with the sparring ring. I don't know which is better, but sparring ring sounds fun. Flight point, nice. Okay, well there we go. Uh, summons an arena champion to fight for your side for one minute. It's a 10 minute cooldown. When the champion departs, you will gain an, an enchantment, improving your combat skills while in Gorgrand or Tendon Jungle. The more enemies you kill while the champion is present, the stronger the enchantment will be. I've got some mail. I don't know what it's from. Oh yeah, it's still my legendary. This is all, um, this is all level 110 gear. Um, I will not lose it. I will pull this out. Um, people always message me like, oh, you're going to forget stuff. I don't think I ever actually lost anything in the mail. Um, but I'm keeping it there just because I don't, I'm not near a bank and I don't want to store it in my bags for now. I can't use it anyway for, you know, 17 more levels. Same thing with this that I, I sent this from my, um, main rogue. I call it my main, but, um, but at 101 I can use that. So I'll use that pretty soon. Um, all right, Thalen, what's up? Uh, well, that, is one thing to pick. Tell you what, you get this building up and running at full steam and I'll see if I can't adapt these blueprints to work for your space, to work for the space in your garrison. Keep those irons in the fire. We need an outpost. Supporting a garrison, the iron approach, and okay, cool. Uh, guess we will grab some quests. Okay, that looks the same. Hold on a second, adventure guide. Dungeons. Okay, I just wanted to quickly look at something there. 
All right. Uh, an endless war wages between the creatures of the eastern wilds and the beasts of the western wasteland. Should one side overwhelm the other, all the Draenor would fall at the hand of the victor. I sent Rangari Erdenel to the heart of the battle between these two forces. It is likely that she will need your help, Commander. Our enemies okay. must fall. Come, and speak uh, the Spartan Arena is a good start, but we will need trainers to help mold your forces into worthy fighters. There has been reported... There has been a reported spotting of a Draenei to the west who matches the description of Akanai. This is interesting, as we all believed her, de her dead. She was one of the finest warriors the Draenei have ever fielded, and a master of nearly any weapon forged or found. Commander, you could not ask for a more skilled trainer. I advise seeking her out if it really... if it is really her. Okay. And one more quest over here. Innkeeper is what I want. Um, this little junk, that's not what I want. This is what I want. This is kind of a weird inn to make my home. I do get rested XP here, which is kind of funny. Like, right there. Like, that is in the rested XP. That's funny. Okay. Greetings. Rangari in the red. Gorgron is a very dangerous place, and I've sent scouting squads out to investigate various regions. Find Kano near the Crimson Fen in Gorgron. I have sent one squad to the marsh called the Crimson Fen, and they have not come back yet. I'd like you to find the missing squad and get a report if possible. Find Altar at Dianar's demise in Gorgrond. Okay, we are still trying to locate all of our scouts out in the field. One of these Al Altar, Atal, Altar. It sounds like a Torin enjoys handling the more dangerous missions. He has not checked in, and I feel we should check to make sure he has not taken on more than he can handle. Okay. Let's... You can, I can see this. If you just run around and do all these quests, I bet you can level up really fast through Draenor. Like, I bet five hours you can hit, go through all ten levels if you just fly around and do those quests. Um, I will do some more of them. But I'm not going to do a ton of them. Um, I do think that that's how I would... It's it's not relevant to the main story. And I'd rather see more of the kind of interesting quests than just the, those quests. Um, I don't even call them world quests, I guess I'd call them. I need to meet with Rangari Erdino. You are not alone. I did get my... Filter. Sources... Do, if I complete, I, so, I'm really tempted to boost an alliance tune, if this guy isn't 110 in time during the pre-patch, I'm really tempted to boost an alliance tune to 110 using my character boost, so I can do the BFA pre-patch quest and get the mount, and also see it from that perspective, I think it'd be kind of fun. So I may boost, I want to do it, I think I'm going to do a tank, I've been thinking about tank or healer, tank or healer. I'm tempted to do a tank, because it does sound kind of fun. Not sure yet. Thinking about it. Alright. Rangari Erdenal. These creatures are relentless in their assault against one another. Uh, 11,000 experience. Cool. Almost 12,000. Uh, when these seed bearers are slain, their seeds survive from them, spring new seed bearers, not over years, but hours. Leaving their remains here would soon cause the outpost to be overrun. We have learned that burning the remains prevents this from happening. Okay, so we're going to burn some corpses. Welcome to the Frontlands, Commander, where the wastelands and the jungle collide. The battle below rages on, but I believe one side is beginning to overwhelm the other. This cannot be allowed to happen. The groundlings are gaining an upper hand and must be stopped before they pose a threat to the high pass. I will get closer to the battle while you thin their ranks. Meet me with an affliction rage when you are done. Melanora Aka. Okay, we have quests all over the zone now, which is good. Let's, uh, I don't know if this is like a highly, I remember, like I said at the beginning of the episode, early episode, I remember people saying Shadowmoon Valley and Nag Nagrand are good places. I don't remember if Gorgrind was the third one. There's three places people recommended, but I am kind of enjoying this anyway. So, all right, let's do this. Let's, uh, I need to resummon my pet, apparently. But I have a plan. I don't know if summoning 
start running. Can this guy changes things at all. Uh, let's try this. So I'm trying to kill as many mobs as I can in one minute, right? That's I think like the the, the, the goal. I think. So that I get as much of a buff as I can from this guy. Right? Counting your kills. So I wanna like just nuke things down as fast as I can. I might be able to get a few more kills here. 20 seconds, yeah, we can definitely get a few more kills. Um, I don't know if you get like a certain amount, if you get like 10, for example, if that's like a specific number that does something. Um, or not, but we might be able to get that. Oh, did I get 10? I don't know if I did. Alright, so what happens now? Your attacks can cause an explosion for 1,385 damage for 5 minutes. Cool. Seems good. I'm just kind of randomly killing, I'm not even paying attention to my quest here. Uh, I guess I'm doing a good job with the quest, okay. Let's burn this. That's what I need to do, though. Is I need to burn these things. I knew something I was supposed to be doing here. Um, let's finish this off. Cool. So, yeah, it's kind of fun just to race and kill a bunch of mobs as quickly as possible. Don't know how actually useful that is, but I guess every minute or so I will recast that guy. There's probably no reason not to. Does it wipe my buff if I recast him? I hope not. Alright, we've got a few corpses to go take care of. What is that hitting me? I don't even know what that came from. Oh, that guy. So what is going on? Is a quest down here? Almost overshot it. Light's blessing to you. A harsh reminder. You have a true talent for combat. Oh, okay, that's what that quest was. Got it. Yeah. 14% upgrade. Which I'll grab as soon as I'm out of combat. Um, let's see. I... I haven't mentioned them in a while, but um, this video is sponsored by Voodoo Realm, so please check them out. They make a lot of cool t-shirts, hats, and other accessories. You can find them at voodoo-realm.com, and if you use code SUPA, we get 10% off your purchase. So uh, the link's in the video description. Now, um, I mean, so let me, let me try to re... It's a 10 minute cooldown, right? So I can't... Yeah, I can't summon that guy anyway if I wanted to. Where's my void walker at? Well, that's sad. I will resummon him momentarily. This guy's a lot of health. And they're actually kind of killing me. I was like, why am I... Where's my void walker at? What's going on? Now I realize I... I, um... <laughs> I, I, I glitched him. My bad. I summoned the wrong one. Oh well. That's fine. We'll fix that in a moment. I uh, realized I did, and then I... Oh my gosh. I thought I could fix it by just clicking the other one, but I could not. Um, Alright, we got it. We need a few more corpses here. Oh. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, we need one more corpse. There's one? Perfect. Let's uh, make sure Grim Thick is following. I still want to call him, I said this many times, I had a Warlock, a Vanilla Warlock, if you watch my other series. Um, and he had two different names for his Voidwalkers, Tang Moth and Sardok. And I always still, in my mind, I remember those names. And they, I, I want to call Grim Thick as Sardok or Tang Moth. Oops, no, that's not what I meant. I targeted the wrong, or whatever. That's fine, go do that. I tabbed the wrong mob, unfortunately. All right, I'm out of here. Let's do this. Discovered Stone Mall Arena. Interesting. Let's uh, do a bunch of stuns. So we're gonna clear these guys up, and then I need to go back actually to turn in my other quest apparently. But then what's this quest? What is this? A rediscovered legend. Okay, I think I. Yes, got it. I read the quest, but I don't remember which went to where. So we'll go back over here, run through all these mobs that are going to aggro us again. This is a very dense area, you know? There's a lot of mobs just kind of packed in here. Have you any news? 
Uh, Commander, I've spotted... Uh oh uh oh, hold on. Um, let's kill some things. How many mobs did I aggro? Oh, just, just three, I think. Um, let's kill this next. Okay, let's heal first. I do love a good uh, drain life. I was it called life drain, good drain life. I guess siphon life is the other one. Drain life and siphon life. These creeping vines are really annoying. They do a surprising amount of damage, but I think they're kind of squishy, so it's that's fair. Um, anyway, so I was talking earlier about the Transformers movie. I'm so excited. I've seen the movie before, and I really like the movie. Like A lot of people I don't think like it. I really like it, and I'm excited to see it in theaters. Um, I recommend you check it out if you've never seen it. You can get it probably cheaper elsewhere. It's like $15 for a ticket, which is really not that bad for a movie ticket. It's pretty normal for like an evening movie ticket, but it's still $15. So uh, you can get it cheaper probably renting on like Google or the iTunes store or whatever. All right, Commander, I've spotted Iron Horde soldiers nearby. It is bold even for them to venture into such deadly territory. If we do not deal with their presence, they will surely be a threat to your camp. While I scout deeper, I scout deeper into the canyons. May I request your help in investigating the camp? Be brave. You are not alone. Sure. Why am I in combat? We're actually. That is terrifying. A crater lord, Igne crater lord igneous. Okay. A dying beast. Release the creature from its chains. <laughs> Dang it, stop. Oh. To the dust with you. Rexar, oh my gosh. My hero. What a champion. One of the coolest... Was it Magthar? Is that his name? The species is Magthar, I think. They're... Magthar, is that right? It's a half-orc. He's the only one in Vanilla Well. There's no other model in the game in Vanilla Well that is a half orc. Need something tracked. I did not expect him to pop up. Thank you, friend. I am in your debt. This arrogant Iron Horde has made a dangerous enemy today. You have saved my most precious companion, Nisha. What about Misha? I owe you a great debt. The Iron Horde allured me away to a separate to separate us. I shall not make the same mistake again. They have inflicted grievous wounds, and I fear we must cause her even more pain before the healing process can begin. Please use a burning log from the fire from the nearby fire to cauterize her wounds. I will hold her down. That sounds terrifying. And kind of sad. But, sure. You'll be okay, Misha. Really, what happened to Misha, though, I really wonder. Misha must make it through this. Thank you, her wounds have closed. Nisha will heal. This ordeal has taken a toll on her. She needs water and a rest. I will bring her to my camp and make her comfortable. Will you meet us here with some fresh water? Meet us there with some fresh water? Sure. So be it. Basilisk is one of Nisha's favorite meals. This is where she hunts, and that's likely how those Iron Horde were able to capture her. Wow. Rexar, speak your mind. But why would they go to the trouble to subdue her this way? Perhaps together, you and I might learn the answers as we punish them for their transgressions. For now, Anisha's going to need some food. While I tend to her, will you do, will you do her hunting for her? For the whore. Okay. Um, we're actually going to wrap the episode, but I want to do one more quest turn, and I want to see what we can grab from over here. There we go. I am listening. You do not have the look of a stone mall bounty hunter. We escaped the clutches of their vile arena, but at a heavy cost. We were forced to leave too many allies behind and too many ogres breathing. We could use a fresh face, one that is unknown to the ogres. Alright. Three quests. Well, wow. when we fled stone mall, we had to leave others behind. If we try to rescue them and are recognized, the ogres will know our purpose, and the first thing they will do is kill our friends. The ogres do not know you, which might give you a fighting chance. Enter stone mall. Find the other gladiators, and release them from their bonds. Do this, and you will have our loyalty. Four quests here, at least. Anytime a 
Gladiator escapes them all. They send their hardened slave hunters after us. I consider myself a capable warrior. Years of surviving in an arena have taught me that. But these slave hunters keep pendants magically tethered to the slaves. With these pendants, they can track us down anywhere we go and kill us in our sleep or when our guard is down. I have no right to ask this, but can you enter Stone Mall and retrieve these pendants? Nazgrel. Escaping Stone Mall was the easy part. The ogre filth that ruled the pits still have my son. For a while, they used him as leverage to ensure I would fight in their arenas. But now that I have escaped, they will try to train him to replace me. Please rescue my son. If they see me, they will kill him instantly. Okay. Beat face. Good name. Stonewall has chieftain, and it has slave master. Today we kill both. First, slave master Akmak. Me fight in arenas since me your size. Me no cruelty. Slave master Akmak is cruelty. Want to be true gladiator? Go to Stonewall Arena, bang challenge gong in center arena, and face beasts of slave master. Maybe you make Akmak so mad he jumped down himself to kill you. If you do, kill him instead. Okay. This sounds like a lot of fun. I actually have a lot of cool quests to do over here. Um, I'm excited to do that. But for now, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Um, I'm wanting to get into some instances. So I need to figure out what's... I might even before... I might do that. I'll probably record the next episode before this one goes live. So I might look up on my own to figure out why I can't get into instances yet. Um, once I figure that out, I'll just, next episode, I'll hopefully be able to queue up. Something's missing, right? I don't know why I can't do a group fight. <laughs> we can, now I can do it. Maybe I just didn't have, I don't know. Maybe I needed to find the zone, like go to it first. I'm not sure. I'll look into it a bit more. Anyway, um, that's all for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.